synchronous, well, I think. Yeah, like the 50% solution. Already. Right. I, every time now when I sit down in front of, in front of something, or, you know, I'm going to cut a piece of cake or I'm going to take a serving of spaghetti and I think maybe I can't get away with half of that. And, you know, just having read this recently and it, already I'm changing the mm -hmm. way I mm -hmm. think about planning thoughtfully what mm -hmm. I'm eating. Mm -hmm. okay. That's, I think, the phrase, planning thoughtfully. Yeah. Like, that's yeah. what really mm -hmm. struck me. Like, all I kept thinking was mindfulness throughout, of that mm -hmm. you're not talking necessarily about food or exercise. You are talking about food and exercise, and, but there's that mindfulness that you're asking us to bring yes. to how we live our life. Awareness mm -hmm. that, you know, mm -hmm. we are living for the moment, and, and we are what we eat, and, and it's important to, especially when you all have young children, mm -hmm. to... Um, instill some values and you know I don't expect every woman to go to the market every day and to make three meals a day but even if you do it start doing it on the weekend you know you'll see the difference in how your family appreciate home cooking for example yeah. and again it, it can be simple I have a dinner every night around the dinner table because that's what I did as a child mm -hmm. and I thought that was my favorite time of day mm -hmm. I didn't know as a child that's when we're all connecting right. but that is, that's a precious time. Yes. We do that yeah. every night. That's but wonderful. a lot in here, you have to, for me, as Americans, we're conditioned mm -hmm. differently. And you really do have to stop and think yes. and choose to live differently. And mm -hmm. we're all very aware of meals and, and what we should be putting in our body, starting mm -hmm. with the water. Mm -hmm. But we choose not to. Mm -hmm. It's easier not to. So we, I think we do have to recondition how we think. Yes, because you are, and I, you know, I love America because it's so convenient. You know, when I'm in Paris for work um, and, and I get home at 7.30, um, every shop is closed. I have no food in my fridge. <laughs> and like, what am I to do? Thank God I have a few messages of friends saying, come, for, come over for dinner. Whereas here, everything is open and you have, you know, the abundance of everything. And there was a tendency to overdo it and do extremes. Absolutely. Yeah.